My name is Aaron Gonthier Jr. I make videos on live streaming, moderating, and full-size trains. Also, my life at college and at home. This is home life. <laughs> this is life vlog. Like things render down and cook. Yeah, I think that's why I put the lid on it originally because it was gonna be cooking and the big kind of all kind of fell place. Not good. Like I said in the last episode, it sometimes gets overloaded. Yeah. Uh, you can overload fry pans really easy. I think I'm adding. Uh, I think there might be some tomato big, sauce. I, I think uh, the sauce this time was tomato sauce. Well, what would no, it's it carrots. To... Yeah, this is carrots. Uh, get some miles We're adding, um, I'm adding up some carrots. Yeah, I'm inside it's some tomato sauce. Um, yeah, joking uh, yeah, joke with my uncle a little bit for flavored coffee. I'm not, you know, not that I'm not big into flavored coffee. It's just, you know, does coffee really need to be flavored? More, uh, regular flavored coffee, coffee works. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This could just be the way I am with things, but yeah, we'll see over a period of time how things progress, and such. But as things go, I'm not too sure. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen a lot of this footage. Uh, Take me a long time to get work done. Need the carrier? Oh yeah, need to drain off the. Uh, Actually, I can just do it right in the dark. Okay. Ooh, in a minute. Yeah, I'm done. Alright. Well, I guess one way to rinse out a, uh... Cover? Yeah. That's one way to rinse out a cover. Yep.
Because that yep. tin's not supposed to be having salt. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did it yesterday. I did do the mm -hmm. old dark change thing. Okay. It's okay. The only other thing I do is oregano. Mm -hmm. And that's over here. I gotta Let's see. Do this with rice. Do this with them. Chips. I had some. Good here. All right, we're gonna fill in with some things. Are not well together. Oh, I don't know what it's going to be. 
And there's much for leftovers if I recall correctly. Um, and of course, I'm not having a lot of leftovers. And some people know me for almost hardly ever. Have some, no. It depends on how things are. Some things I've been known to pilot in hard. Some I've been known to eat a little more sparingly. It depends on what's going on that given day. Well, it's back to work, and Trey, um, after having a good bit of food and some uh, something to drink, it's back up, back up to the attic to finish getting some more stuff done. And stuff. What maybe might be some of the electrical, um, we'll probably see some. Where my tape went? That's right. I can't find it because it's invisible. No, I place it somewhere. It's scotch tape! It's invisible! <laughs> this is a bit lucky. No, mine's yellow. Hopefully that's at the right height to clear the layout. <laughs> Usually you put that under the layout. You don't want outlets above it or layout. Believe me. Yeah, it'll clear, but it'll be kind of a shot crack. Okay. The Here's an outlet. Way. That's how. That I mean, this is not an outlet. This is a light switch. This yeah. is at the correct height, right? Yeah. Outlets are supposed to be like this high. Yeah. Well, just you know, in here. So you can you can move it down like this. What, the light? Outlets. Out, yeah, yeah. That's your outlet, you said, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> AJ! You stuck. So, there. I'll put this back over there. I forget where I put my okay. tape. Right. Well, actually, technically, that would work for right where it's sitting, because... Do you want to put your outlets right here where your light switch is? Basically. Right. So we'll run up, across, and down. Yeah. The only downside, and I guess I kind of saw this one coming with this, is the way it's spaced. We almost have to drop it, and I may have to do some crown molding or something to hide what the wire. Mean? There's nothing from here to run the wires. Run it down. To run it down? Yeah, to run it down. Plenty of space. Here's what we're going to do when it comes to that. All you got to do is make, with one bias, a um, use one by fours and cut them about. Uh, measure from the top of that. Come to this side of your wall, please. Yep. See that board that's hooked to the top, the ceiling there? Yeah. Put the measuring stick up against it. Okay. So this guy right here? Uh, over this way, too. See where the, no. Uh, let me think. It's over where the light is. Yeah. Okay. All the way up. No, all the way up. Okay. Up against the board. You can measure off the board. All right. There. No, underneath the board here. Underneath it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so see, that's um, 10 inches. Yeah. Needed. So you'd build a 12 inch long uh, box. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, one by four here, here, a 
Okay. And then here. Yeah. So that you're making like a, an, it'll look like a um, ring gutter, basically. Yeah. Then you're going to cap the bottom. Yep. Then the open side goes up against your wall. Okay. And you hook it from this side. Okay. And that could be done right where that wooden wall is. It'll work out perfect. Yeah. But. So like right, you're thinking like right here, drop it. That's not really in the right spot for that wire. It'll take more wire. Be better on the other side of the door. Yeah. But you could put up some yeah. boards just for that. Yeah, I could do that, yeah. In any case. I mean, literally, you could put up a board if you want to look neat. You could go one of those boards from where the doorway post is. Yeah. Across and have it cut on an angle so it yeah. disappears into the ceiling yeah. basically yeah what do you think about that yeah that and would that work would yeah you, that would straighten out all of your issues for trying to hide that wire yeah would it yeah that would <laughs> and it's cheap because you got the stuff um yeah i mean these are things you're trying to think through now yeah that's some stuff i'm trying to think through now um in fact that's something you could actually start putting in now if you you could put those boards in in the line, get them cut, and then put yeah. them in. Because you're going to do, you want to do sheetrock, right? Yeah, in this area, it's sheetrock. Once the, we use up the, uh, the, uh, other, we're going to switch to sheetrock. So, so the boards first? Yep. We're going to use that up. Because if you go put sheetrock in, Put the shoe rock in, then you put your board on top. Yeah. That'd be a smart way to do it. Just no insulation. You don't need insulation on the inner wall. It's not, not needed. Yeah. You know, I'd like to insulate the interior wall, but yeah, you guys are saying it's not necessary. Well, it isn't. If, you, if you're just trying to keep noise down, there's other stuff that works better than that. It's not, it's yeah. not um, fire retardant that's the issue with it. Yeah. The stuff that works real good is not fire retardant. Yeah. Well, because it's all to move and do measurements. That there is 24 inches to here. I would say <coughs> set those boxes at 30 inches. 30? They're at 30? Mm -hmm. Okay, so set these boxes. Your choice, top or bottom. All right. For all your outlets and all of your Ethernet boxes, all need to be set at 30 inches. Because that keeps them below. So you're saying set everything at 30 then? Yep. So that box needs to be moved down there. No, 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 no. That box is a light switch. Light switches can't move down. They're at a set height. Yep. We have to run everything else around them. Here. Yeah, right is here. Right here. Eh, it's still... Dull. A lot of planning is going into this build, especially. We're trying to we figure out how things are going to be set, so things will work right. It's doable. It, it, Quite the um, adventure we have to do. Uh, yeah, no. yeah, the Ethernet ports, the electric uh, ports, where those are located, here, how much room is necessary for each item. A lot of thinking is going into this project. Um, it's probably going to take a while to uh, construct and work on. So you can just move. Go ahead and move that. But, yeah. you know, that's where things go. And in case, yeah. I will see you guys next time. So Don't forget to is... spread the love around. Stay the road tracks. Ask your time. Hit the subscribe button. And ring the bell. Oh, don't forget to give me a like or a dislike.